Starting off in the world of private equity, venture capital, or hedge funds isn't like picking up a few shares of your favorite tech company. It's a different ballpark, one with higher stakes, larger sums of money, and a more exclusive guest list. First off, it's important to establish that these forms of investment typically look for accredited or qualified investors. This means you need a certain level of income or net worth just to get in the door. The baseline is pretty high. As an individual, you typically need an annual income exceeding $200,000 or a net worth surpassing $1 million, excluding the value of your primary residence. But let's say you've got the credentials to be in this financial playground. How much do you really need to play ball? For private equity and venture capital investments, the minimums can range significantly. Sometimes you're looking at a minimum investment of anywhere from $250,000 to $25 million or more. It varies wildly depending on the firm and the fund. Some funds might even require an initial investment of $100,000 and then require additional capital calls. Venture capital tends to be a bit more flexible, but not much. Minimum investments can be around the same range as private equity, especially if you're going in on an early stage startup where the risks and potential returns are magnificently high. Hedge funds, on the other hand, usually have a lower threshold for entry, comparatively speaking, of course. Some funds might let investors in at around $100,000, but many are more comfortable with a nice round number like $1 million. Keep in mind, these funds aren't just being snobby for the sake of exclusivity. Larger investments mean less overhead in managing a slew of small accounts. Their focus is on substantial capital growth, which is more efficiently managed with fewer, larger investments. And even if you've got the cash lying around, that doesn't necessarily mean you should jump in. The world of private equity, venture capital, and hedge funds comes with its own set of risks and complexities. It requires a level of financial savviness and a stomach for potential loss that not every investor has. Sure, the potential for jaw-dropping returns is there, but so is the potential for equally jaw-dropping losses. So, for those living in places like Portland, Oregon, where the investment climate might lean more toward tech startups or sustainable industries, it's crucial to do your homework and really understand where your money is going and the risks involved. At the end of the day, before considering such high-level investment opportunities, it's not just about having the necessary funds. It's also about having a comprehensive investment strategy, a deep understanding of the market, and potentially the guidance of a seasoned financial advisor.